Hello Year 8. Um, you've uploaded some absolutely fantastic work on nutrients over the last week. Some really interesting diets that are happening here. Some really healthy, healthy, uh, healthy students. Um, some really good details been put into the work, which is really good to see. Here's some examples of of the work that you've uploaded. We've got a spreadsheet, lots of detail here. Um, we've got really detailed um, uh, food planner here. What well, we've got some absolutely fantastic photos. I'm not. I I'm assuming that they're not your photos. If they are your photos, that's absolutely fantastic effort. Some professional quality photography going on there. Um, nice little diagrams on a paper. This is my favorite one. Lovely color. Okay, we're coloring in the different um, nutrients, coloring the different nutrients, different colors. It's really good. This week, we're looking at moving away from healthy living, healthy lifestyle to electricity. Okay, one of my favorite topics, because it's really important electricity. Use things that use electricity all the time. Right now, you're using some device that uses electricity to watch this video. Okay, it's really important for everyday lives, so it's really important that we understand it. Okay, now you've got two tasks. The first task is to look at these different symbols. We've got a switch, a cell, a battery, a lamp, a voltmeter, an ammeter, a resistor, a variable resistor, and a motor. You need to draw these symbols and write down a description of what they do. What is a switch used for? What is a cell used for? Okay, why would you put a lamp in a circuit? What function does it have? What's its role on a circuit? Why would we put an ammeter in a circuit? What information would it tell us? What's its job? What's its role? Okay, so you need to do that for those nine different symbols. Okay, it's important that you're able to draw these. Okay, it's an important skill. Okay, so that's your first task. It's a research task. BBC Bite Size, there's going to be a link in the video description and in the classwork's homework, is a brilliant place to start. Okay, that's task number one. The second task is to draw two types of circuits. Draw a series circuit and to draw a parallel circuit. Now, say out loud what type of circuit this is. In three, two, one, it's a series circuit. Okay, if you said series, well done. If you said parallel, it's not a parallel circuit. There are no junctions. There's only one way that the electricity can flow. There's only one loop. Okay, so this is a series circuit. There are two bulbs in this. Now you need to draw a series circuit with four bulbs. You need to draw a parallel circuit with four bulbs. In the parallel circuit, it's up to you how you arrange those bulbs. Okay, you might have three in one row and one on the other. You might have two in each row. Okay, but I want to have four bulbs, okay, in that parallel circuit. Now you can draw it on paper, perfectly good way. Draw it on paper and then take a picture and you can upload that picture. That's fine, perfect, it's probably the easiest way to do it. But you can also use this animation, this simulation called FET. Okay, um, might be a little bit harder to do, okay, especially if you're just using a phone. You can access it on a phone, but it's a bit fiddly. Okay, um, if you're using FET, you can take the screenshot on FET and you can upload that as well. Okay, now to get to that simulation, you go to Google, type in PHET circuits, FET circuit, and you're brought to this set of results. And you want to go to the circuit construction kit. Okay, circuit construction kit, and it will be brought to this page, and you click the play button, and then that will open up the simulation. Make sure it's got the little five at the bottom corner. Okay, now this will work on computers, it'll work on laptops, it'll work on tablets, it'll work on phones. Um, but the bigger the screen, the easier it is to manipulate the wires and the bulbs and the components. Okay, so you can do it on a phone and you can just take a screenshot and you can upload that, but it's a bit tricksy. Okay, if you can't get it to work, it's fine. You do not need to. You can do this with a pencil and some paper and draw the circuit. Okay, make sure you label which is which so your teachers know that you know which the series circuit and the parallel circuit is. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through how to how to use the the simulation on FET. So once you click on that um, play button, you're brought to this screen. You can click the lab or the intro. The lab's just got a few extra components, a few other things you can do. I'm going to click on intro and you can just choose what component you want from the list here, drag it onto the screen and you can make your circuit there. I'm just going to make a simple single bulb circuit with some wires. So you can click on where the red is and you can drag and make the wires longer. You can change where they are. Oh, it's gone too far. 
Oh, it's not working. There we go. Sometimes it can be fiddly. Okay, if you do it too quickly, it will get confused. And then we can clip that like that. We can add an extra wire and we can just join them up. So we can move where the red things are and join them up. So I can move this onto here like this. This onto here like that. A wire will move down. And a wire like that. Okay, and I've got a nice simple series circuit. Okay, now I've used all these wires, I didn't have to, just to make it clear where the electricity is going. Just to make it clear, just to show that it's only got one loop. Okay, to make it into a parallel circuit, okay, I might add a junction, okay, where the electricity can flow this way or this way. Okay, I'm not going to do any more than that. Okay, that's all your hints that there is. Okay, so um, good luck over the next week for this task. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and your family at home. Um, take care and bye bye.